Hey guys, I actually thought that the mana source would be someone really interesting to take advice right now on how to just deal with uh, being at home. So I work from home three days a week and I do go out shopping and Dave and Busters and, you know, go out and do stuff um, because, you know, why not? It's your living life, right? So I have, the last time I left home was Tuesday. It was either Tuesday or Wednesday. I went to Home Depot and ATB to uh, ATB's our grocery store to buy some uh, shrimp. Home Depot, I didn't really remember. I don't really remember what I got from Home Depot. I don't think I got anything. I actually went there to look for uh, detergent. Oh, I did get the Swifter. I got the uh, Swiffer, uh, the wet Swiffer for pets. So I, got, I, did, I did get something. And... It's interesting because a lot of Magic players, I guess they live at home with their parents and they don't really, you know, have uh, go out and socialize. So in this environment, they actually are, I mean, it's not a bad environment if you're a gamer and you're isolated anyway, but it's really driving me kind of uh, insane right now because I do like to go out on weekends. I think this is the first weekend, uh, tax season weekend. I did my taxes already, but uh, that weekend I just told myself I'm not leaving until my taxes are done. Finished my taxes, and that was good. Um, have I been playing Magic? Yeah, MTG Arena has been really good for Magic. Um, I like MTG Arena. I don't love it. I would love it if they bought it to iOS, not really for the Mac, um, but for the iPad. I think if you had an iPad version of it, that would be quite interesting that would be a lot more interesting than what we have right now because um i played magic on the ipad before and it's actually pretty clean um and if you play pokemon you probably know too, as well it's not bad so now people are stuck at home and there's not like you know all there's not too much to do and when there's not too much to do, it's really easy to get kind of bored and just stop. Watch the news. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to avoid the news. So I thought that, you know, in this case, the mana source actually would be very interesting to make a video. If he was honest about how to survive living at home and not going outside very much. Uh, I actually would be quite intrigued to know how people do that. Um, again, I work remotely from home, but we still have team meetings. We still see clients. Um, so here it's a little, actually, let me email my team right now to make sure that something is done. It's um, fascinating to me because when you kind of discuss what's happening in today's economy or in today's society, there are people who are really good at staying at home and how do they survive? How do they, I don't know. It's fascinating to me. Will magic survive? Uh, we need to finish this tonight. Please send login and password. Client will be mad if we don't finish today. Thank you. So when you work from home, it's like totally, it's different, right? Luckily I have two dogs and a cat to keep me company. But can you imagine working from home from like, you know, if you live at home and your family, you don't like your family or there's multiple kids in your family and it's just a disaster. And that's where I think uh, the mana source can really benefit um, society is he can tell us how to stay at home for long periods of time. I'm already getting very antsy. I know like as a society, it's better for everyone to just stay home right now. And I do agree with that. That's the social distancing thing. But I'm sure he's not going to make a video on it. Uh, I, I would love to know. I mean, especially for gamers or people who... It just seems very, it's not even lonely. It just seems incredibly boring. And there's not much human interaction, of course, because, you know, I live by myself. 
Hmm. Yeah, magic. Maybe I can sort via my magic collections. And, you know, I've always wanted to reorganize them because I'm pretty sure I have complete sets of a lot of magic cards. And I am trying to build, maybe like right now, I can try to build a computer. So I still have a lot of work. Um, I still have lots and lots of work. And we're still working today. Uh, today is a work day. So we work Saturdays and Sundays and we work remotely these days anyway. So it's not like I don't have a lot of things to do. I actually have more things to do now than less. I have actually, yeah, I have more things to do than less things to do based on um, we're building a new website for a client and I don't know where the status, uh, what's currently going on. Lots of interesting magic collections for sale though. I've definitely noticed that. Oh, here's a Pokemon collection for sale. It looks pretty good. And people are finally becoming more reasonable with what they want. Uh, previously, they were incredibly unreasonable with uh, how much you know they wanted for their... I mean, here's an interesting one. 250 cards are, look pretty... Um, hmm. Um, yeah, actually, I might be interested in that. That sounds kind of cool. So let me go ahead and email, see if they want to do that. But yeah, things are massively on discount right now and people need money. Let me read you something. Uh, I offered, so he wanted 800, I offered 500. I think he took something like 200. Uh, so sorry, brother, I had to sell to someone else, needed the money considering the state of things right now. And that's what's happening is people, you know, are selling one thousand dollar magic collections for two to three hundred, and they can't even wait for like an offer of five hundred dollars to come across, right? Because it's already uh, too late. I don't know. It is one of these things that I think, um, absolutely, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And how bad it gets will, I mean, a lot of things are going to be on sale. Like a lot of things will be on sale. And it's not only that things will be on sale and things will be relatively cheaper. It's also the fact that, you know, people need cash today and they're going to try to move. I mean, if you don't have money to survive then what's the point of having hobbies or what's the point of having magic cards and it doesn't make any sense right um, there's going to be a lot of really interesting things that come upon the market and i think that when you talk about card games and video games i've seen a lot of retro video games and retro toys come into market because, you know, what do you want? You want to pay your rent or do you want to sell your video games? A lot of people are going to be forced because of jobs. It's like once they lose their jobs, um, if you are on, essentially, the way I look at it is if you are not working, uh, most jobs, you can't really work from home. That's kind of a misnomer. Uh, the concept that work from home is even, you can apply for most jobs, um, doesn't make sense to me. Because uh, a lot of jobs are retail or like, let's even say games. Finally, GameStop said they're non-essential and they shut down. But in doing so, those people are hourly or wage workers and they're not getting wages. So I think people hate GameStop. There's not, there's not a way that GameStop can really win. They don't shut down, now they're making fun of GameStop. They shut down and now the employees are not getting money. And those GameStop employees, you know, they have some really great collections because they've just been, you know, getting the GameStop collections of video games. So it's not just the, um, magic cards, it's anime figures, it's any collectible item. And out of the collectible items, I'm looking at figures, I'm looking at Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm looking at Yu-Gi-Oh 2. Weiss, I'm looking at uh, Marvel Legends. I'm looking at to buy used collections and 
just see what happens with the prices. Because if the price is low enough, um, it would be interesting. Because you can inventory it. You could absolutely inventory it. So you could hold on to the it's cost of goods, right? And that's not too bad for your taxes either. This year just sucks. I don't know how else to say it. It just sucks. Like, um, man, I don't know if this year is going to get better or worse. Like, I just hope it does not last. Um, I really hope it doesn't last any longer than it is. And I'm really getting antsy. I want to go out and I want to do stuff. And it's only been since Tuesday when I went out. I think it was Tuesday. I don't think it was Wednesday. And I'm already like stressed out about being locked up in a room. And I have so much work to do. In fact, we have more client work now uh, than before because our clients are in kind of panic mode and we have to help them. Well, they're marketing, of course. Now we have more tasks than before. And it is, I think, the end of the month. Yeah, so it's like doubly. Um, actually, I just send a client report tomorrow. So I got to work on that right now. And then, um, yeah, I have even more work than before, which obviously is a good sign because it means you're probably getting paid. But I actually, a client called me tonight, and then I know Tuesday we have a big meeting, and then Monday we'll probably have a meeting. And then I have... Uh, Obviously, we have more than one client, so I'm, sometimes I'm talking about multiple clients. Anyway, hi guys.